four best hashtag strategies you need to make sure that you're using on Instagram right now have recently changed, and if you haven't adapted to them, you're probably already seeing a decrease in the amount of views that you're getting. But don't you worry or panic, because if you simply change the four new strategies I'm gonna share with you in this video, it's gonna explode your reach on Instagram. Just like this creator right here, that have recently helped gain over 120,000 followers in a really short period of time by implementing exactly what I'm about to share with you in this video. Hashtag strategy number one is going to be four niche specific hashtags. Now, here's what you need to know. On Instagram, there's really only two types of hashtags. There are niche specific hashtags, which are gonna be things that are specific to whatever you're posting about. For example, if you're posting about affiliate marketing, it's gonna be hashtag affiliate marketing. If you're posting about ADM music, it's gonna be hashtag ADM music. So basically, those hashtags are whatever you're actually posting about. And then the other types of hashtags are gonna be broad hashtags. These are things like hashtag trending, hashtag news, hashtag green screen, or anything that just applies to a bunch of different things, or even something like hashtag reels. Now you need to make sure that you're using a mixture of both types of hashtags because those post or niche specific hashtags are gonna help Instagram better recognize who to show your content to, but those broad hashtags are gonna help expand the amount of people that Instagram shows your content to, so you can expand the amount of people that are actually interested in your niche. But that's only the first hashtag strategy you need to make sure that you're using. There are three more, and the last one I'm gonna share with you is by far the most important. But before we get into that, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you wanna grow quicker on Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube, I literally upload a video every single day about how to grow on these platforms. In addition to that, I just created a free Instagram growth course. You could get it the pinned comment below. It's gonna teach you things like how to get your first 10,000 followers, how to get monetized on Instagram, and the best time to post. So what are you waiting for? It's literally 100% free. Just go to that pinned comment below. Now the second hashtag strategy that you need to make sure that you're implementing is going to be six to seven hashtags. Now remember, there are four critical mistakes that you need to make sure that you are not making when it comes to hashtags, so we need to cover each and every single one of them step by step. First and foremost, you do not want to constantly use the same hashtags over and over again. I see way too many creators make this mistake. They have a list of just 10 hashtags and they keep using those same hashtags over and over again. This begins to look like spam to Instagram, so please make sure you're not doing this. Secondly, you need to make sure that the only place that you're putting your hashtags is at the end of your description, not in the beginning of your description, not in the middle of your description, and definitely not in the comment section. That third thing that you need to make sure that you're doing is making sure you're not using any banned hashtags. Now, in order to make sure that you're not using banned hashtags, all you have to do is come over to a Google search, do banned hashtags on Instagram, and then what's going to show up here is this website right here, IQ Hashtags. This used to be the hashtag website to use, but they started charging for it. Now, this website is free, so let's just go ahead with this one. For example, we're gonna type in hashtag make money online. We're gonna type in hashtag only fans, and then we're also gonna type in hashtag affiliate marketing. I gotta have to spell affiliate right. Okay, so we're gonna put affiliate marketing in there. Now, as you can see, out of these, hashtag make money online is banned. So guess what? If you use that hashtag, it's gonna decrease the reach that you have. Hashtag only fans is also banned, but affiliate marketing is safe to use. So ideally, what you should be doing is putting in your list of 30 hashtags that you have for your niche, and boom, this is gonna allow you to see whether or not the hashtags you're using are banned. In addition to that, you can upload your Instagram profile right here, be able to scan your profile and remove any existing banned hashtags. And you need to make sure that you're doing this with your content because if not, probably using banned hashtags, which is decreasing your reach, and you didn't even know that Instagram is lowering your account priority because of this. Now, one other thing I did want to address because it's just as important as the hashtags that you're using is the type of content that you're actually making on Instagram right now because there are three types of content that Instagram is pushing more than most things right now. The first type of content are going to be memes. If you can make a meme that gets people either to comment or to share your piece of content, Instagram is going to push that meme out like crazy. The second type of content that's doing really well is green screen content. Because I'm gonna share with you in a little bit one of the most important things that Instagram actually looks for every single time that you go to post, and green screens make it really easy for you to do that. Because essentially, it forces you to make content on something that other people actually care about. This could be a news article, this could be another video, or it could be a photo. But essentially, people are trained that when they see a green screen, somebody's gonna be referencing something that they actually care about, and boom, this increases the actual reach on the video. And then a third type of content that is doing really, really well right now is going to be an infographic plus a video 
or a meme plus a video. In fact, if you go to your explore feed, I bet that that's all you're going to see. You're going to be seeing something that captures your attention. And if you swipe, it's the video that actually delivers on that hook that you saw or the infographic that you saw. And essentially what this does is it allows you to show up in the explore feed, which is somewhere you otherwise probably wouldn't have shown up because a lot of single photos don't show up there. And a lot of reels don't show up there. The most posted show up there are going to be those carousels, but in particular, an infographic plus a video or a meme plus a video. On top of that, you need to make sure that you're using the largest hashtags possible. I'm gonna share with you in just a second two other hashtag strategies that you need to make sure that you're using. And remember, the last one makes the most small accounts go viral, but first, I did wanna emphasize the importance of you using Meta's AI to figure out what hashtags you should be using because what you wanna make sure that you're doing is using the largest hashtags possible for whatever you're posting about. Again, they need to be large, and they need to be specific. And all you need to do is type into Meta's AI, give me three hashtags for this topic and have them be the largest ones and show me proof that they're the largest ones. What's it gonna do? It's gonna go ahead, find the right hashtags for you, and then boom, you simply use those hashtags on your post and this is going to increase your reach so long as you do a few other things right. But first, we need to talk about that third hashtag strategy, which is going to be using eight to 10 hashtags. Now, if you use six to seven hashtags or eight to 10 hashtags, ideally you want two to three of those hashtags to be broad hashtags. Again, these are gonna be things like hashtag trending, hashtag reels, hashtag reels feed, things like that, because what's going to end up happening is that will increase the reach that you're able to get because here's how hashtags actually work on Instagram. Instagram is looking at the keywords that show up in your description. They're looking at the keywords that show up in the transcript of your video. They're looking at the keywords that are showing as text on the screen in your video and your hashtags. And what they wanna see is that all four of those things are aligned because Instagram is going to look at that in order to determine who to actually actually show your content to because right now is a very, very special time in Instagram's history. Essentially, somebody with zero followers can upload something and get a million views. And somebody with a million followers can upload something and get zero views. Now you might think that that's bad for that person with a million followers, but what this actually does is favors small creators on Instagram and the best creators on Instagram because the creators that not only create the best content that Instagram knows they have an audience for and get the most sends per reach and people completing their videos are going to get the most amount of reach, which basically unlocks and uncovers a huge opportunity for you to be able to grow on Instagram so long as you can match up those hashtags, the hook that you're using, the transcript, and the description of your content. So what you wanna make sure that you're doing, every single time that you go to post something on Instagram, you need to be building your posts based off of something that's been successful for somebody else in the last 24 to 72 hours, because otherwise there might not be a really big audience for that thing on Instagram. For example, if you posted one year ago about the US Olympic basketball team, there probably would have only been 10,000 people interested in it. But if you posted about it yesterday, there would have been millions of people interested in it. And a week from now, it might be only a few hundred thousand people interested in it, and then it's gonna scale back down to where it was around a year ago. Well, guess what? That's going to drastically change how many views you get for posting on that topic. Now, I know that topic was incredibly specific, and it might not be something related to your niche, but this happens within your niche, within different topics, and you need to take this into consideration when you go to post about something, because you might be posting about something not that many people are interested in and then boom you're gonna get less reach than you sh think you should be getting or you might just be ignoring the best hashtag strategy that you could use, which is going to be three niche specific hashtags. Now remember, if you use that strategy, none of those should be broad. They should all be incredibly specific to what you're actually posting about. And this is the number one hashtag strategy that's gonna help you get more views. I still wanna make sure that you're testing out all four of them. The correct way for you to do that for the next seven to 10 days, use a different hashtag strategy every time you post. At the end of the 10 days, I want you to see which one of those videos did the best. I want you to look at the top three them, whatever strategies were used there, those are the strategies that you should use for the next two to three weeks. And then again, I want you to test it with those new strategies because strategies change all the time and you need to make sure that you're on top of it. Now, if you're still struggling to grow on Instagram and you want to get more views, you want to get more followers, you want to be able to post on Instagram, make a full-time living. Well, guess what? I personally wanna help you be able to do that, which is exactly why I created this video right here that explains three different ways that we can work together, where I can audit your account, we can hop on a phone call, or could even mentor you for 30 days to guarantee that you grow quicker on Instagram. If any of that sounds interesting, well, please check out this video right here. I can't wait to see you in it.